Okay, so now you've got your Spencer converted and ready to go. What we need now is to find some ammunition for it. Now if you live in North America you have a number of choices. You can buy ready loaded ammunition from some small specialist suppliers or you can buy um, cases and moulds and so on from companies like Buffalo Arms. Also Starline, the, um, the big brass company, they produce new uh, 5650 brass cases which are designed primarily for the repro um, Spencers that are made by Army Sport in Italy. Now I don't have any direct experience but I'm told that the Starline brass doesn't necessarily fit original Spencers properly. I believe the problem is that the rim's a little bit too small to extract reliably. But I don't have any direct experience of that. Now if you don't um, live in the United States your options are far more limited because it's uh, actually illegal to export cartridge components from the US without a license so none of the small suppliers will do it. So if you live in places like uh, England as I do you find that what you have to do is make your own brass and the easiest way of doing that is to use 5070 government cases and cut them down. To trim the cases to nominal lengths I use this little 2 inch chop saw that I bought from Harbour Freight. Um, you can use a tube cutter or hacksaw or trim them on a lathe for whatever you have available. Uh, I made this little jig here that holds the case in position at the right uh, length. So to trim, put the case in. <laughs> Next step is to trim the case to exactly the right length, which in this case is 1.15 inches. For that I use a Forster case trimmer. Mount the case in the chuck like so. Open it forward and then just turn this to trim to the right length. There you go. You need what forced to call the, the classic 50 trimmer for this job. That's good enough. There are two final steps that you may have to do depending on the size of your brass, the thickness of the brass the size of the bullets and the size of the bore. The first one is you may need to inside ream the cases and I find the easiest way of doing that is to put them in the, uh, the chuck of a lathe, mount the reamer in the uh, tailstock and then just turn the case or the, the chuck by hand whilst advancing the reamer. That's relatively easy um, if you find that your loaded rounds don't chamber because they're actually uh, too great a diameter you may actually have to turn down the outside of the case. Conventional outside neck reamers for cartridge cases won't work because the case is very short so again uh, one way of doing it is to chuck them in a lathe and um, reduce the diameter slightly with emery cloth or a, a lathe tool. Hopefully you won't have to do either of those two stages. Now you have your cases, you need to get hold of some bullets. Again you can buy these ready cast or for economy um, you can cast your own. This is uh, a Buffalo Arms Spencer mould, it's called the JIM 520375. A single cavity mould, it throws a bullet uh, 375 grains and um, 0.520 inches diameter. 
They make one which throws a 0.515 bullet, but I recommend getting this one because depending on the bore of your rifle, you can always size down a bigger bullet, but it's very difficult to size one up again. So that's a very good mould to have. These are the bullets it, uh, it throws. 375 grain, something like that. Um, use pure lead or maybe 30 to 1, something like that. You don't need a hard bullet for a Spencer. Lubricant, you need black powder lubricant, uh, SPG if you buy it, or I use a 50-50 mixture of beeswax and olive oil, works very well. Dyes, um, a number of companies make dyes. Uh, these are the ones I use. CH4D. A conventional three die set will fit in a, an ordinary press. You don't need a large uh, bore press. The nice thing about CH4D as a company is that they're very accommodating and if you ask them with your order they will make the um, the sizing plug to whatever size you want so it makes it very easy to uh, to load for non-standard bore sizes. Personally I only ever use black powder in an original Spencer I think it's a tempting fate to, uh, to use smokeless. The original um, round was uh, 45 grains of black powder but with a modern case you won't get anything like that in there. Um, maybe 38 to 40 grains with a little bit of compression would do. When you bean through all that, you should end up with things like this. And it's uh, ready to go. Off to the range you go. Well that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope that um, you found something of interest here. And if I've been able to help get at least one uh, Spencer back into commission then I'll be happy. A couple of points before I go. Firstly, the original Spencer is going to be at least 140 years old so before you even think about firing it get it checked out by a competent gunsmith. Secondly, if you do do the conversion please don't forget to convert the magazine follower. Six rounds of black powder going off in a chain fire one inch from your cheek is really not going to make your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.